and when world events occur that don't meet with most of our likings um, comes from Leonard Bernstein. Is that how you say his name? Is it Bernstein, I think? Bernstein. Or is it Bernstein? I don't know. In any case, it was... Uh, just not late for dinner, I guess, right? Um, he was, one of the quotes, he's quoted all the time, but one of the quotes that I always love um, in regard to this kind of thing is, this will be our reply to violence, to make music more intensely, more beautifully, more devotedly than ever before. And so once again, a big thank you to all the performers, because most musicians I know uh, and poets um, they carry this uh, with them, and, and that's a way to uh, segue uh, to our, our next guest, who is an amazing poet and person uh, who I happen to know, and has done great work, has been a, a former state legislator, a breadloaf professor, a Dartmouth professor, a professor of poetry. Uh, she recently, um, uh, over the last couple of years has been hosting and teaching on themes of climate change. And uh, she has an amazing book that I'm glad to hear has started to get more interest in recent years, very, very recently. It's an older book called Water Music, has beautiful photographs that she took and interviews and, and storylines with world-class musicians like Yo-Yo Ma and uh, so many, so many more that I, uh, I, all that comes to mind is George Clinton, and I'm pretty sure he wasn't in there, but so many amazing musicians. Um, great poet and friend, Marjorie Ryerson. Hi, everybody. I am very pleased to be here and honored to be surrounded by such great musicians. This is a great privilege, and thank you, Vincent. Tonight, I'm going to read six of my poems, which are in a forthcoming book that of my a volume of my poetry that will be published by Green Writers Press later this fall. And the book's title is The Views from Mount Hunger. And it's be, that's my favorite mountain in Vermont for hiking. I've gone up at winter and summer, but the views look in all directions, and so do my poems. So that was the story behind that title. The first poem I'm going to read is called Music Doctors. The world unravels, burns, and shreds in ways none of us have imagined and in ways none of us knows how to repair. Yet healing tears flood our cheeks as a Bach adagio saturates the room. Massenet's meditation adagio also raises the rivers of our soul's gardens, as does Arvo Part's Spiegel im Spiegel. Music doctors are as old as the human race. These healers drench us with the only medicine that truly cures, medicine that numbs our agony so that we can go on. The next poem is called... <laughs> This poem is called Vietnam 1966 and Beyond. The child curls her back, soft and flexible as green ferns, under the school desk and reaches out to touch the arm of her brother. The high-pitched siren holds their transparent eyelids motionless and thins their breath into a crystal wine glass a damp finger circling the rim. The next poem. <laughs> this poem is called Blending with Light. It doesn't matter the words we use. Each poem narrates the same story. Each poem attempts to make sense of the dragged past, tries to walk the thin ice of the present. Each poem slips moist fingers into the future, 
snoops into rooms whose doors are locked. Elsewhere, biologists in antiseptic labs bend over microscopes hoping to discover why words cannot move us closer to our own parched cores. Does it matter that scientists have discovered the gene for risk and uncertainty? Does it change anything if the Big Bang never happened? All we need to know is that when our eyes meet those of the sun and don't shrink away, we fuse with the spirit of a poem. When what we see coalesces with light, we know ourselves at last. This poem is called, Giraffes Don't Buy Drano. <laughs> Giraffes don't buy Drano to pour down their sinks, then sue their towns over poison in their tap water. Eagles don't wander the aisles of Walmart hunting for bargains, their high heels squeaking on polished floors as they smoke packs of unfiltered camels. Chipmunks never send gifts to distant cousins via 72-foot, 18-wheel FedEx trucks that grind up interstates and down dirt roads, their engines devouring fossil fuels at six miles per gallon, their tailpipes gifting the air with benzene, formaldehyde, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen dioxide. Chickens don't spend money having their feathers trimmed or their nails painted. Butterflies don't order toilet paper by the carton. And when did you last see an elephant drive his shiny BMW from Dallas to Portland or a suited up chimp with diamonds in her ears fly Delta, fly Delta from New York to Paris to sip Calvados and visit the Louvre. <laughs> the verbs of love. See, recognize, linger, stare, listen. Inquire, explore, wonder, ache, fantasize, shiver, tingle, tremble, touch, plunge, submit, surrender, shimmer, radiate, burn, burst, melt, meld, treasure, become, breathe, stumble, Struggle, cleave, weep, shut down, comprehend, compromise, reach out, surrender, laugh, heal, bond, hold. <laughs> And my last poem is called The Highest Wall. The highest wall ever built across our path is made from the rugged material called grief. When you get there, reach out, touch it, intimately explore its barbed surface with your tender fingers. Accept its imprint on your body Acknowledge that this wall will forever alter your path forward. Know that this wall will shape new directions for your life, but also know that when you arrive at the wall, you will find community there. You will never be alone at the wall. We are all there with you. Thank you. Thank you.
And I want to just give a little, uh, well, a big thanks to Marjorie Ryerson for a really wonderful reading. Um, fantastic. Thank you once again. Such a privilege. That is what it is all about, is, uh, is those kinds of messages. And uh, also just another opportunity to thank uh, Vincent Freeman, uh, the owner of this uh, fine establishment. And I also want to give a shout out to his parents who came all the way from Germany for this, uh, this event too. Yes. the folks who uh, are indirectly or directly responsible for this. <laughs> Thank you.